Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today's video is quite a different video for me. Um, I do not ever unbox anything and put it on the air that I know I'm going to return. However, there's been a lot of discussion lately about the Chanel price increases and about the Chanel quality. So with that said, I did decide to go ahead and to film this video. I have been asked several times to share my opinion on it because I do have a little bit of a Chanel collection and I have never really um, talked about my quality issues that I've had in the past and I have had a few. Um, I have returned a few bags, I, but I like, like I said, I never unbox and know I'm going to return. I will turn the videotape off and um, we'll, we'll discard it if I have, and it doesn't have to be from Chanel, anybody, that I just don't put it on the air. There's just no point in that to me. Uh, that's not what I do. So this I've already unboxed and um, was not going to put this on the air, but I decided to show it to you. Anyways, just with everything that's kind of going on with Chanel. So I really, really, really love my new Chanel Black Mini. Um, I bought that from my regular sales associate. It came perfect, pristine. I love it so much, I wanted another color. My sales associate could not get one for me and she actually warned me not to buy it. She's like, you like brand new in the box. She's like, you're not gonna find one brand new in the box. Well. I found somebody else who told me that they had one brand new in the box. I do not blame that sales associate at all. It did not come from her store. She had it shipped from somewhere else, so no blame to her. But it came beautifully packaged like this and with the tissue paper. And then that's, that's where it started to go wrong. <laughs> so I opened it up. It came in a dirty dust bag. Not quite sure if that is showing or not, but yeah, there's dirt all over the dust bag. These strings were not tied. There is no receipt. Um, I did get the cleaning cloth, but no receipt, anything like that in the package. Then I opened it up and I knew instantly that, um, that it was a, a return. So it came like this, where my brand new one had the chain outside and tucked in and had tissue paper all over it. So it came like this, pulled it out, and it's, it's a beautiful bag. However, it is, um, it's either a return or just really bad quality. So first thing I noticed, this right here, it's a big indent on the lamb, which that, you know, that's not a deal breaker for me because I understand lamb. The second thing, when I opened it, I noticed, and I hope I can get this to show, there is a circle indent, and it's, it's so hard to, to see it in the light, but it's where there should not be. I'm not sure if it'll show or not, but it's on this area over here. It's an actual circle, and um, I can't see because the bag is covering. I can't see the monitor. So I was like, okay, that's not an area where anything touches, so there shouldn't be a mark there already. And the next thing I noticed, let's see if that will focus. Do you see all the glitter on the inside? So that could possibly be from when they stamped it with the gold Chanel, or it could be that somebody used the bag and was very glittery, <laughs> with glittery stuff. The next thing I noticed was so many wrinkles already. And if this is supposed to be brand new, it shouldn't have them from the moment you get it. Yes, lamb will get that, and I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. The next thing I noticed was the chain, and there we go. The chain is warped. Can you see that? I don't know how well that's gonna show. But um, yeah, it's bent, it's warped, and um, it's just, there we go, right there. Hopefully that is showing up. And I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I'm like, you know, their price increases are insane. So these bags just recently went up $300. They are now um, $3,500. Last year they went up $400. So in less than a year, these bags have gone up $700, as well as all the classic flaps, 
Uh, a lot of other bags have gone up too, but I'm not like totally positive on all of their price points and everything. But here is the number for this. It is from the Cruise Collection. And this bag should have never left the store. Or at the very, very least that they could have done was to wipe the glitter out. But it came, that's the only stuffing that came in it. The chains were not wrapped at all. There was no tissue around the chains. It was just thrown in this with the chains back here where lambskin dents very easily. Um, it was, and I don't blame the person I purchased it from again because it came from another store. She had nothing to do with the packaging. She did not see the bag. But for $3,500, this puppy should be perfect. If this was pre-loved and I got it in this condition and I saved money on it, I would be okay with that. That's fine with me. But to get something brand new and the chain is messed up, there's indents already on the bag. It's covered in glitter. Like, I don't know, did a little girl carry it or is it part of the gold flaking off? I don't know. But so I just thought, I've never talked about my quality issues I've had with Chanel. I've had a few. Um, the first one was the um, Chevron Statement flat bag. And I'm not sure if I've taken that video down, but I do still get emails about that bag and people want to know how it's held up. It warped the flap within, I don't know, not even a week. The flap started lifting on one side. Uh, my girlfriend got the same bag, had the same issue, and her sales associate told her it was a known issue. The um, bag was too light for the hardware that they put on that particular bag. That one went back. Um, then I have my reissue that would not stand up. And I know now for sure that that had nothing to do with me now that I, I repurchased it and the new one stood up from day one. I know that had nothing to do with me. I also purchased a mini O case in a very similar color to this last year and the CCs were completely crooked. So yeah, I just, I haven't really discussed it. I, I did, you know, did the unboxing of that bag because I fully intended to keep it. And then within a week it was messed up and same with the reissue. Um, or it wouldn't have made it on air. My Lady Dior bag that I got that was um, the floor sample, I turned it off. A couple of Saint Laurent bags that didn't work for me, I turned it off. They never made it to the air. I tend to just not, I tend to not bash. I tend to not be negative. However, when I went to uh, tell the sales associate that I wanted to send this back, all of a sudden her very responsive text stopped. I was told that I had to sit home all day and wait for FedEx to come, that she could not send me a label, which is not true. My sales associate sent me a label for the crooked blue one and for the defective one that had the flap lifting up. And I just dropped it off at FedEx myself. Um, and I, I just know that's not true from several experiences, like with jewelry, doing different things, they can send you a label. So that's frustrating. But what's really frustrating is that in one year, this bag has gone up $700 and they let this come out of their store and they thought that that was acceptable. Um, I don't like making just blanket statements like I am done with Chanel. I don't like doing that because then if I buy something from Chanel, you'd be like, you said you were never buying anything again from Chanel. But at this point, I am really, really, really turned off with the brand. Um, I just the quality. I, I feel very lucky with the bags that I have. Um, they've held up very well. They've been very good quality. But when you get a bag with Chanel, you really have to completely look it over if it's brand new. Well, I mean, pre-loved or brand new, but you really have to look it over. My girlfriend got a bag that had glue all over it, um, all sorts of marks on the caviar, and they told her it was an absolutely brand new bag. Maybe it was, and maybe it just came that way, but um, she spent close to $6,000 of tax on that bag, and that's not acceptable. So she was able to exchange it for a new one. They asked if I wanted to do an exchange for this. I said no, because I have already know at this point, anything that comes in in this color in the USA, at least, is going to be um, a return more than likely, because they're, unless they get a new shipment in. But I just, I, at this point, I just, I don't want it. I'm done. I don't want it. <laughs> so I don't know. I just, um, I feel like their price increases are 
astronomical. A bag that I purchased last year went up over a thousand dollars. Less than a year, way less than a year. It was the cocoa handle uh, with the lizard, uh, the lizard handle cocoa flap. It went up over a thousand dollars. I think that's just ridiculous. I don't think that I am getting a thousand dollars more quality. I don't think I'm getting seven hundred dollars more quality. They just keep going up and up and up. And I did have um, somebody write on one of my videos that their opinion on why they were raising the prices was to slow down sales and because they can't keep up with demand. My opinion, I completely disagree with that. Very respectfully, I disagree with that. They want to sell. They want to sell as many bags as they can possibly sell, and they're going to sell them for as much money as they can possibly get for them because we're willing to pay for it. Clearly, I've purchased two that were in the new price bracket. My black one, I did have um, store credit uh, or uh, store gift cards. And so I actually got that for $50 less than the old price. But this one, full price. I was willing to pay for it. I wanted something Chevron. I love this color of blue. So they're going to keep raising the prices if we are still willing to pay for it. And clearly, they're, you know, they're very popular. I still love my Chanel bags. I still love the brand. I am just, I'm really disappointed. Um, and I'm really just, I'm, I don't know, I'm just really soured on the brand right now. I am just had some really good experiences with um, my latest purchases from Fendi and from Louis Vuitton. Just amazing quality. And why am I not getting that quality at Chanel? I expect that from Chanel. You should expect that from Chanel. The majority, well, all of my Chanel purchases have been brand new from the boutique. Um, I don't tend to do a lot of pre-love. There's nothing wrong with pre-love, but that's just how I tend to shop. Like my, my sales associate said, don't get it. You know you want it brand new in the box and untouched. That's just how I am when I'm spending a lot of money. And um, yeah, I, I'm just like, how how do you let a bag go? I hope this is showing because I can't I can't look at it at the same time and show you. But how do you let a bag go without at least just trying to wipe that off? Just trying to clean it up a little bit. And how do you let it get out of quality with strap all messed up? Let's see if I can set the bag down and try to show it a little bit better. But I mean, how do you even that's just not going to show at all, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to focus. Um, yeah, there it is. It's maybe, but I don't think it's going to really show the, the true way. So maybe I'll insert a picture of how that is. But how did this even get out of, you know, the factory and get to the store and then get to me? So I'm still working on trying to get this back to them so I can get my money back. And um, it's definitely... I'm going to make me really think very carefully if I want to add anything else from Chanel in the future. Which is sad because that's my favorite brand. I really, really, really love their designs. But at what point are you saying I'm spending how much money for a bag and it is not quality? So that's where I'm at and I've been asked a lot about this. So. I'm not a basher. I'm a very positive person. Um, but yeah, I just felt like, I just felt like I wanted to share this with you guys because I just don't, I don't speak about things like this. I don't talk about, you know, when everybody, not everybody, but when the people who have emailed me about the Chevron statement flat, um, they don't know that it went back to the store because I never filmed a video on that. I did on the reissue. Um, just because it was missing from my collection and people kept asking where it was. So I, I made a video on why I um, sent it back. And then I made a video on why I repurchased it, which I'm still thrilled that I repurchased that one. But yeah, I'm going to think very carefully in the future. It's a gorgeous color. Little eye candy there. It really is a beautiful, beautiful color. It has the champagne hardware, which I love. And I was super, super excited about this until I opened it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I just, just be cautious with your purchases and look them over very thoroughly. Um, I just don't know that, um, I feel like the brand is looking out 
for us and making sure that we're getting a very good quality product anymore. I'm just not sure about that at this point, but I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to talk to you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.